This is St Molston's Great Harwood and we are very excited to talk about our latest environmental project. We began our elephant projects just before the end of the summer term. We had learnt about idioms and that the Asian elephant is one of the world's endangered species. Bob and Joel brought an elephant shaped cage and we filled it with eco bricks. We have been making eco bricks for two years now and they remind us that single use plastic waste is a very serious pollution problem. We learned about ways to reduce our plastic footprint. We had learnt about COP26 meeting and after watching some news videos we talked about the four very important subjects to do with the climate crisis and about caring for our common home. Then we used our elephant in the room idea to send this message over to our news team. In Amazon every minute an area of the size of football pitch is cut down and burnt to allow cattle and soy crops to grow. This destroys natural habitat for people and wildlife. The soy is sent to England and other countries where it is used to feed cows, pigs and chickens, where, which is sold in supermarkets and fast food outlets for us to eat. This means we are eating meat that has been fed soy from deforestated land. This recent news report has told us about the soy that we have imported from Brazil, which has been grown, grown on de deforestation land in the rainforest. We need to make soy supply chain clear so we know the source of food. Over to Alicia. Ask supermarkets and companies to promise not to use soya from the Amazon rainforest. We should eat less meat and buy from local farmers so food doesn't have to travel as far as we know where the meat has come from. Help the farmers to grow food in the UK, plant more fruit and trees. Eat less meat as you don't know where it comes from. Don't use soya meat, use soya free meat. Take care of COP26. Thank you for your time. Now over to our deforestation reporter to find out what happened at COP. At COP, over 100 of the countries agreed to stop deforestation by 2030 and a sustainable investment management plan was launched with many supermarkets signing up to produce deforestation free soy. Is this any good? Well, yes, but in the past 18 years, Deforestation at the area size of Spain has happened in the Amazon in Corrado. So if they carry on doing this for another nine years, latest news tell just in tells us that deforestation has increased over 20% in the past year. Yes, a report published by Brazil National Space Research INPE on Thursday the 17th estimated that 8,224 square miles of forest was lost between August 20th and July 21. That is bigger than Lancaster and Yorkshire put together. So we need to try to do something to help. What can we do to get deforestation off our plates? Eat less meat, write to supermarkets, ask them to label the food, write to the Sustainable Investment Management of Oxford, speak to our MP, back to our news reporters. Loss of biodiversity. In the UK, this is now down to just 54%. Globally, we are in the bottom 10% of countries. The global average is 75%. Our farmland is polluted by too much nitrate. Nitrate comes from fertilizer and animal poo or slurry which is sprayed onto the land. When it rains heavily, this runs off and causes pollution to the streams. Streams and rivers can also be polluted by sewage which is killing fish and wildlife. We saw that beavers have nearly been extinct but have reintroduced in some parts of the countries. Beavers are like eco warriors and work away in preview wetlands and stop flooding. Over to you, Quinn, who is going to tell us about our ideas. We are asking Boris Johnson to urgently restore biodiversity in our country and stop polluting the water. Some of our ideas plant trees and fruit bushes, make book hotels to increase the population, ask the government to make sure every tree cut down is replaced with three new ones, more help for litter collecting groups. Help people join groups and collect litter. Now over to our biodiversity reporter to find out what happened at COP. At COP, the leaders agreed to commit to a sustainable land use and protection, sustainable management and resortion of forests and other ecosystems. The Land Workers Alliance of a small scale of UK farmers marched with tractors, vegetables and banners on Saturday the 6th of November. 
We are mobilising at COP26 to show that alternative to the destruction, polluting and high emission dominant farming models do exist and to promote agroecological farming and sustainable forestry as real solutions. The government also announced a new environment at 10th of 11th 2021. This includes woodland protection, local nature recovery plans and a target to halt the decline of nature by 2030. But that's nine years away. But we would like to know what are the targets for 2022 and many more trees will be planted in our area. More questions for our MP, back to our news team. Action on our plastic pollution. We see every day how our plastic footprint grows. We have seen how companies try to make things sound like they are good for the environment by putting green and eco labels on products. We watched a greenwashing video showing six of the worst examples. Plastic is known to be a major contributor to climate change at every stage of its life cycle, from the emission of greenhouse gases during its manufacture to the final pollution from the burning of the plastic waste. There's also the major impact of discarded plastic on ecosystems that are already struggling to deal with rising temperatures. Some of our ideas. The government should ban the sale of single-use plastic or put a deposit on them so people can return them and recycling for 80p a packet of crisps and 5p back for every bag returned to the supermarket. Need to make more alternatives like bamboo, cheaper, or maybe no tax on environmental friendly fr products. Help hashtag team seeds by not polluting in the oceans. Help homeless people by recycling and giving litter picking jobs. Try to eliminate single use plastic. Make reusable cups. Use your local zero waste shop. We need to be more careful or else it will be too late. If we could leave the earth as we found it, it would be great. Plastic pollution is a problem. We wanted to see something happen at COP on plastic pollution and there was a lot of talk. They had zero waste plastic coffee cups and they washed and reused the cups just like we always do at home. The University of Portsmouth launched its Global Plastics Policy Centre to help find sustainable solutions to tackle plastic pollution around the world. Another report told, told us that as the world moves away from oil and gas, fossil fuels companies are turning to plastic to persuade the profits and dozens of petrochemical facilities. We watched the plastic pollution collision call to action. It is strange to think that one of the biggest producers of plastic was born and raised in Oldham, Greater Manchester. Sir Jim Ratcliffe of Ineos UK, as one of our actions, we are going to write to Malata. Sir Jim, a rubbish truck of plastic waste is dumped into the oceans every minute. Plastic breaks down and is mixed with sand. It is killing fish and aquatic life. It's like a horror story. Your company, Ineos, invested in the Daily Mile at schools, which is a good thing, although some people say it is just greenwashing. We hope you can help us. Three years ago, you promised to make 60% of all plastic packaging recyclable or reusable by 2030. We are praying that you will keep your promise and be a leading person in trying to preserve the plastic pollution of our world. Now over to the consumption reporter who is going to tell us all about COP. China, along with Russia, decided not to send their leaders. After two weeks of meetings, nearly 200 countries thought they had done well to reach agreement. But at the very last minute, China and India demanded that the wording was changed to phasing down coal production, not phasing it out. President Sharma was visibly upset as were countries most at risk of flooding. Everything that has been made as a carbon footprint, look at any object and see the materials have, have they been extracted from the ground, the energy that has been used to make it. In China, where most of our consumer goods come from, coal is used to produce steel and electricity. Then, oil is used to transport items thousands of miles up to the shops. We saw the shocking video about Amazon destroying items that have not even been used. The eight eyes recover all the different ways to reduce our consumptions. We have made a list. Let's talk about the eight hours. Reuse. Start reusing things to avoid buying new things like 20p bags or non-recyclable cups and plastic. There are many more things to reuse like cups, bags, plastic and non-recyclable bottles. Recycle. Mostly everything can be recycled, so that's why you should do it. Recycling will prevent pollution into the sea and killing unharmful animals. 
recover. If you have something that can only be used once, then don't throw it out. Keep them and make something of your imagination with it. Re-gift. It's fine to give gifts that don't affect. Share and be a part of, our, of the gift economy. Reuse. Reduce. Recover. Re-gift. Rethink. Rethink. On our four statements, we wrote ideas on elephant dung paper, which were then attached to the signs. As you can see, there are in the shapes of elephant dungs to show the th show things that are causing sticks but aren't being dealt with. We need to rethink our actions. We need to recycle everything we can. In, la in Loud Auto C, Pope Francis says that we need to be telling our government that time is not on our side if we are going to keep 1.5 alive. As part of a classroom campaign, we are going to be writing to the government and talking to our MP. We need to be more careful or else it will be too late. If we leave the world as we found it, it will be great.